This is Jason with MaxAmps.com and this is your how-to video on how to set up the memory positions on the Hyperion 720i AC-DC charger. Start out with, uh, you're going to have to choose which uh, battery adapter or balance tab adapter board you want to use. In our case, we're going to use the blue Hyperion board, not the black aligned one. We're going to set that aside for now. Your next step then is to set up the memory position for the specific LiPo pack. We're going to use memory position number one. Again, press enter, your memory position flashes. Use the up and down arrows to select your memory position. Once you've got the memory position you want, press your down arrow, go to battery type, hit enter, make your changes. You want to see LiPo on the screen there. Once that's done flashing, press down again. You're going to want to set up your cell count or pack voltage. We're dealing with a 3 cell 11.1 volt pack, so we need the screen to reflect that. Use the enter button, use the up and down arrows to make your choice. Select 11.1 volt 3S, we've got that. Move to your pack capacity. We've got a 3 cell 5250. The charger goes in 100 milliamp increments. Uh, set your charger to 5300 milliamps. That way you'll ensure that this pack will get fully charged. So once that's done, go to your charge rate. Once you set the pack capacity, the charger automatically sets to a 1C charge rate, so we're already seeing 5.3 amps on the screen. That's done. Hit the enter button and then down again. You're going to see your temperature cutoff. If you're using the external add-on temp sensor, set your temp cutoff to 120 degrees. Press down, move to your safety timer. Safety timer set for 120 minutes. Standard charge time on an empty pack at a 1C charge rate is usually about 80 to 90 minutes fully balanced charge, so 120 is a good safety point. Once that's set, go to your TCS capacity, set it to 100%, fully charged pack. Next setting is your end action, your TCS end action. What you want the pack to be doing when the charge is complete is go into a maintain mode. What the charger will do is not charge it anymore, but it will hold its voltage where it's at until you shut the charger off and end the whole cycle. So leave that at continue. Go down to your TVC, leave that at 4.2 volts. Don't make any changes there, not necessary. You want the pack to fully charge at 4.2 volts per cell, so that's where you want to leave that. Next, go down to discharge. Your discharge rate at this point, we're going to leave it at 5 amps. And you can go down again and you discharge voltage per cell. Uh, the charger comes stock set at 3.0 volts. Uh, I usually like to bump that up a little bit to 3.2 volts per cell, so we're going to set that there for the cell cutoff. The next thing then, you go back to your main screen. You can now see that you've got the charger, memory position number one, set up to charge a 3 cell 5250 LiPo. Uh, basically, you're all set to go at this point. If you want to make another, you know, another model memory change, press enter. You'll get the model memory number flashing. Press the up arrow. That's going to move you into model number in model memory position number two. At that point, then once that's done flashing, you start pressing the down button and go through the same exact 11 steps that we did and make your adjustments and changes as necessary for the pack that you're going to be dealing with. So. That's how to set up model memory position for the EOS 720i ACDC Hyperion charger. For more information on this charger and all the other ones that Hyperion makes, visit maxamps.com.